Meteor Client has been updated to Minecraft 1.21.8. Why so fast, you may ask? Well, because 1.28 was a really small update, and so Meteor can update incredibly quickly. Anyways, to get it, you want to head over to their official website, MeteorClient.com. This is going to be linked right down in the description below. Together, actually, with my Discord server, where you can find many more clients just like this one, as well as, actually, some older versions of Meteor Client. So make sure to check that out. Anyways, here on the website, simply locate the download section and you can download me to your client for 1.21.8. This will bring you to this ad page, don't click on anything here, wait for around 10 seconds for the timer to end, and then click on the skip button and your download will start automatically. So to use Meteor Client, you do actually need to have a fabric installed for Minecraft 1.21.8. If you don't have this yet or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, here as you can see in my downloads, I've got the Meteor Client Jar. If you also got that, then you want to press on the Windows and R buttons at the same time. And then in the box that pops up, you want to type in App Data. Then in this location, you want to go into the folder called Roaming.Minecraft. Scroll down a little until you find the Mods folder. Then apparently I've already got Worst Client in here. Check that out too. But you want to simply drag me to your client right into the mods folder. And once you've done that, you can close up both of these, open up the Minecraft launcher and launch fabric for Minecraft 1.21.8. So here inside of Minecraft, you'll know that Meteor Client is active because as you can see, there's already a few things here on my screen. Anyways, I have actually made a full in-depth tutorial on how to use Meteor Client. If you want that, then I will link it down in the description below. For right now, I'm just briefly going to show you how to get started. So to use Meteor Client, you can press on the right shift button on your keyboard, that is right shift, and that is going to open up this main click GUI area over here. This contains all of the utilities, so we can click on these to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. Hover over them and they'll get a description, and if you actually right click on these, they'll be brought into their customization menus, which is a really neat area for each utility. You can actually save them by clicking on this star over here and you get the description once again right over there so that's really nice anyways that's literally how to use this um the same thing works for all of these utilities here i recommend that you check all of them out and it's really that simple now one thing you need to watch out for is in this render area over here you can actually scroll and the two hidden ones here are the x-ray and the zoom two of the most commonly used utilities and some people miss out on that so make sure you keep that in mind if you're missing something you can also of course search for it right over here and that's basically it for this main click gui area but that definitely isn't all that meets your client has to offer in this config section right up here, you can set up the config for the client. And in the GUI section, you can manage the way that meet your client looks. In this HUD section, you can manage your HUD or heads up display. These are basically all of the elements on your screen over here. You can turn it on or off with this thing, just like that. And you can actually edit it as well. If you're in the edit page, you can drag all of these around if you'd like to, and you can right click and add custom modules. Anyways, I'll just go out of there for right now. Meet your client also has a built in friends menu where you can add meet your client friends and a menu where you can make meet your client macros as well as a profiles area. This is pretty important. Creating a profile allows you to save all of your settings that you have set up in this client and that way you can create actually different profiles for different scenarios which is quite neat. Finally Meteor Client also supports commands so by default these start with the dot and the perfect thing about these commands is as you can see there's autofill so if you don't know how to use some of these then you can literally just autofill your way through it's fantastic. Anyways, the um, dot help command actually lists all of the commands right over here. And if you hover above them, then you get a description of exactly what they do. Anyways, for right now though, that was basically that for me to your client. Remember to subscribe if this video did help you out. And remember that there is an in-depth usage tutorial linked in the description. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do of course hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.